Hey guys, welcome back to the Dark Side, or whatever channel I'm uploading this on, because I don't know what I'm going to upload it on. Maybe I'll upload it on both, but what video I'm going to upload this on. But, I just made a bunch of buys, and I kind of want to show you guys what I bought recently. So, uh, here as you can see, I have a bunch of Hero Factory sets. These were ultra clearanced, and uh, around 85% off estimated. Maybe my math is wrong, you guys can recheck it for me once I tell you the prices if I... If, uh, if you guys want to know, but I got two waspics, two drill dozers, two nitro blasts, and two fire lords. So I got two of all the ones that they had on sale there. No jet bugs, unfortunately. I kind of wanted to get a jet bug or two. But these uh, fire lord or large box sets in general cost about twenty-five dollars in Canada, where I live, and uh, these were marked down to four fifty each. And these large box sets cost about $17 in Canada to $18, and they were marked down to about $290 something. And that's the same with all these. Now, I also bought one of the Bot Shot 3 packs, the uh, Decepticon version. I was going to buy both, but um, the Autobot version they had a bunch of, and I haven't seen either of them in stores, but I figure I'll see the Autobot version a lot more easily. I'm going to buy both versions, in though, anyway. And uh, I also got some comics. I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but I collect uh, Bart Simpson comics. I got some of the more recent issues, 60, uh, 66 through 68, I think, and also 61. I didn't get that one previously. But uh, and one f and uh, one final thing that is extremely interesting. You guys will probably well, at least uh, if I upload this on my Transformers channel, it'll be interesting. I got Transformers Prime First Edition Cliff Jumper, and that is amazing. Now, not only that, but I found it in a store. I found it in Toys R Us, in one of the shelves. So, I'm I am so surprised that a scalper didn't find it first and uh, and uh, resell it on eBay or something. But I only saw the one. If there were a, if there was a second one, I probably would have sold it on eBay myself. I think the price is maybe going down for the after sale market though just because uh they're gonna have an Asia release of this toy again aren't they? That'll probably be cheaper than some of the scalpers prices. But it's a uh, it's a bit of an overrated toy. Like a lot of people thought it was that much better than the R I D version. I can I was okay with my R I D version. The only reason I bought this one was because I wanted to say, yeah, I bought first edition Cliff Jumper in the store back when it came out, so Anyway, that's awesome. I'll tell you the story of that when I review it, but... Now, I just want to talk about the economy of this buy, because I'm getting about 500 and... I got, I'm getting exactly 582 pieces from all these sets in total, and it costs about 25 bucks for all of them. Now, my math may be wrong, but from some rough calculations I did on some paper uh, while I was in the store, told me that it was about 4 cents per piece. Now, this is just another estimation uh, that I made a couple of months ago, that the average price for Hero Factory pieces is around 30 cents per piece, so that's almost one-tenth the normal price. And uh, it's also uh, about ha under half of the recommended price for normal Lego bricks, and Lego bricks are a lot smaller than Hero Factory pieces, so this is very good economy. So, oh, sorry. Now, from Mocker to... Uh, my viewers, I would say this is a good system. If you can find sets around like five to under five dollars or something, just buy two of them each and use them for pieces. I could actually resell these on eBay if I wanted to for for like the normal retail price and just kind of make a couple of bucks if I keep them for a year. But that's not really my style. It's kind of a shady business in a way. But Mostly I just want to keep the parts, I don't want to resell them. And some of them are already open. I actually got my dad and my sister to each build a drill dozer and see who could do it better, and I think my dad did it better. And I built waspix too. I don't know what the drill dozers are, I think they're over there, but here's the waspix. I just built it last night when I was bored. But I'm probably not going to assemble most of... Oh, oops, sorry. I'm probably not going to assemble most of these. I'm just going to use them for parts, you know. But anyway, that's all I think. I think, let me just take a look around and just see that I'm not missing anything interesting. Oh yeah, uh, something else. I also, well not only did I put comics up on my wall, but I also hooked up my little cable car up here. And I also ran the, the control, the electronic box down to my desk. 
so I can control from my desk. Let's see if I can bring it up a little bit. As you can see, there's the pulley. The cable car is all the way on the other side of the room, so I don't want to have to tilt the camera all the way over there. But anyway, uh, thanks for visiting the Dark Side slash BuzzerBot, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little video showing you my recent purchases. So I'll see you guys later.